It's color week. Do you know what that means? That means every day this week, we're gonna be sharing a great tip for incorporating delicious color into your life. Today, the color is red, the first color of the rainbow. And for red, we're using apple, pomegranate, and beets. Some of my favorite flavors in a fantastic, healthy dinner salad. So first you wanna slice up a couple of apples. You need two apples. I don't make any claims to be a nutritionist, but at this time of year, after you've been eating lots of heavy, rich foods at the holidays, you wanna lighten up. And one of the greatest ways to do that, I think, is to incorporate more fresh fruits and vegetables into your diet. So doing it by color, why not? We'll have great information about all the different colors on our blog, so check that out because you'll learn lots of great nutritional information. I'm just gonna put these apples aside in a bowl for a sec. Hopefully they won't get too brown. I probably should have done this last. You know what you can do? If you get ahead of yourself the way I did, just cut a lemon in half and squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over the apples and toss it. Not only does it keep it from browning, but it adds a little bit of acidity that I really like. I just wanna point out, we still have no gas at the office, so I'm still working on my induction burner. Handy dandy. One and a half pounds of bone-in chicken breast, skin on. You're gonna remove the bone and the skin after the fact, but keep it on while you're cooking it because it adds flavor and helps keep it moist. And then cover it with water by about an inch. Cold water to start. What you wanna do is bring it to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer and cook for about 18 minutes till it's cooked through. So I'm gonna start this on high and see what happens. Doesn't say to season this at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and season it. I'm gonna put some salt in there. So you need a cup of pomegranate seeds, and I'm gonna show you a great trick to get the pomegranate seeds out of a pomegranate. Cut your pomegranate in half, and then take a bowl and a wooden spoon, and then hold your pomegranate cut side down in the palm of your hand, and then just start hitting the pomegranate with the back of your spoon. And all of the seeds are gonna start falling out. You can see they're not damaged at all, and they're just falling out of the pomegranate. You know who taught me that trick? Martha Stewart. She's a smart lady, that Martha Stewart. And when you're finished, and it doesn't take that long, your pomegranate shell is completely empty. Just set those aside. The last red ingredient for this recipe are some beets. I have two eight ounce packages of pre-roasted peeled beets. To slice those up, I'm gonna put on some gloves because I don't wanna stay in my hands at the beginning of the day. Just slice them however you want. You can cut them in wedges, you can cut them thinly. It takes about an hour to roast beets yourself, so we're saving you an hour of roasting time and 10 minutes of peeling time, so it's a good amount of savings. The chicken's not quite at a boil yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the dressing. I'm making an orange vinaigrette, so it's a tablespoon of orange zest, about a half a cup of orange juice, and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. It's boiling now. I'm just going to remove some of the foam from the top because I want a nice, clean poaching liquid. Poaching is a fantastic low-fat cooking method because you're cooking really gently in a liquid. Now it needs to cook for about 17, 18 minutes so I can finish up my salad dressing. You need a tablespoon of orange zest and then a total of a half a cup of orange juice. I always like to zest my fruit before I juice it. It's much more difficult afterwards. So always remember to zest first. I'm using a reamer to get the juice out of my orange. Just make sure you use some kind of tool that gets as much juice as possible out of it. You don't wanna leave any behind. And then two tablespoons of olive oil. It's a very low fat vinaigrette. We're trying to be healthy here. Because I have my lemon cut, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of lemon juice. It's completely not necessary and it's not actually in the recipe. A Little bit of salt and some pepper. That's your vinaigrette. All right, everything is set. My chicken is done. We like to cook ours to 155, which seems a little low, but as it sits in the liquid, as it's cooling, it comes up to 160, 165, and it's totally fine. This chicken that I have here was already cooked and cooled. Remove the skin and the bones, but keep the breast in one piece, and then just slice your chicken however you like. I like nice sort of half inch thick slices across the grain. Perfectly poached chicken should be juicy and tender and not at all dry. But I'm telling you, it's true that if you overcook your poached chicken, it will be dry, which seems a little counterintuitive considering you just cooked it in liquid, right? But it happens, especially with chicken breasts, so be super careful. I'm gonna build this on a platter, so I'm gonna put a layer of those beets, then a little bit of that arugula, maybe some more beets, some of those apples. You get the idea, right? Seeds. What do you think, people? Are you as excited to eat this as we are here at the studio? Now I'm gonna put a little bit of dressing on because I wanna give all the layers flavor and I feel like I should have been doing this all along anyway. Then some of that chicken, 
You can see that we have a high amount of vegetables and fruits and a kind of lower amount of chicken, and that's intentional because we want a lot of those fruits and vegetables and just a little bit less protein right now. Kind of go crazy. I mean, this is a festive moment. This is so laden with delicious red fruits and vegetables, I can barely lift it up. Start the new year right, eat your colors. Come with me. I won't lead you astray, people.